Welcome. I previously did a video where I upgraded the solid state hard drive in my early 2015 MacBook Pro Retina. A question I get a lot is if the hard drive gets hot. So I use this computer daily for editing videos for my YouTube channel. And today, before I started editing, I opened up a terminal and I ran this command here, smartctl-a disk zero. And I installed this using Mac ports, so this isn't in the default install of the Mac. But what that did is that gives me the temperature of the SSD. So I have the information here, and it says temperature up here, but down below it says temperature sensor one and temperature sensor two. And I don't know exactly where these sensors are, but I'm assuming that they're in the solid state hard drive somewhere. So I wrote a little script to capture this data. So I charted out all the values I captured and I took a reading every five seconds. So this is every five seconds and these are the results here. So the top one is sensor two and the bottom one is sensor one. And the higher temperature here runs mostly between 50 and 60 degrees Celsius. And this equates to around 120 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's well within the specs of the solid state hard drive. So you see it kind of goes up and down a little bit, but it stays within that window. Over here might be when I was exporting the video out and the fan actually ran on the computer while I was doing that. And then after that, while it was doing export, I also worked on my thumbnail with another piece of software. So I was doing a lot with the computer at that time. So in my experience, I haven't had any extreme temperature issues. And I do want to emphasize that this is my experience. Other people may be having different issues. And this is on my early 2015 MacBook Pro Retina. People using other computers may have different experiences. But a lot of people brought it up. I want to make a quick video like this. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.